Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are featuring my top five lipsticks and my top five concealers. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I am slowly working my way through each category with my top five, or in one case, top 10 items. So I thought I'd put lip and concealers together. Starting with concealers because I don't think any of these will be a surprise because I use them all the time. These are items I get my money's worth from because I do use them all the way up and I really don't have a need to go find other concealers, but I do try them for comparison purposes, but these are the ones I go back to time and time again. So the first one is this under eye concealer. I don't know where the cap went. It is by Sizzly. It is in shade number four. I know some of you have picked it up because I use it all the time. I talk about it all the time. What's so great about this concealer is there is no powder required for it to set. So actually powder can tend to make my under eye area look a little bit heavier in terms of makeup than I want. So the fact that this doesn't require powder keeps this really natural looking. It has a second skin like quality about it. So it just looks like my skin under the eye. So this is a good shade match for me. It's a little bit darker, but I'm afraid three might be too light. So this works out well because I will go in with this. I don't do a triangle under the eye area. I never have, it doesn't look right on me, it doesn't look good. What I do is I take something that's lighter and I just focus it right in this area right here. Probably the most expensive concealer I have, I'm gonna say, it's the La Prairie and I use it so much that there's not even any markings left on here. But this is in the shade four and it has a brush on the bottom of it. So you can take that out. This brush is really great because it focuses it right in that area. So I will just apply it right here and right here. Keep it really close to that area and not diffuse it out too much because it just does a really nice job of bringing that forward. That is the darkest part under my eyes. It helps me look much more awake than I really am. So I love those two in combination. This does not require powder either. I've tried them side by side, they're comparable. I just really like this combination because you do get those two shades in there. The first one just evens everything out. And then that second one, since it's a bit lighter, brightens it again, it's shade four. They're both shade four. My only issue with them is that they both don't really offer very wide shade ranges. I wish they would because the performance is really phenomenal on both of those. Speaking of expanding shade ranges, one of my other top concealers, especially for dark spots, I know some of you have discovered this because I use it all the time as well. It's the Clay de Peau concealer. This one has SPF 25 or remember, I think I started using this after the SPF was introduced and a lot of people did not like that it had SPF. I personally love that it does because it is right on my darker areas, which can use as much sun protection as possible. So I do love that about it, but it performs really well. It never puckers on my skin. Some concealers can do that after time, especially if you have oily skin. Right here in the front, it never looks like that. It always looks beautiful at the end of the day the same as it does at the beginning of the day. And it does a great job of covering up that hyperpigmentation. And this is a great shade, again, mocha. It's a little bit deeper, but that works well for that area for me. I go right here and then right under my nose, I have broken capillaries and my chin. And then until lately, my forehead, I have a little bit of a discoloration up there as well. Um, but this is such a beautiful concealer. And I also apply it to the outer corner here to kind of correct this shape here because it's deeper right here uh, and it's not even either on both of my eyes. This one goes further down. So it makes my eyes look downturned. So that's another way I get this more almond shape. The interior of my eye shape is almond shape, but the exterior isn't. <laughs> They're quite downturned. So this does a really great job there as well. Now for a couple new concealers that I'm using, if this combination for you is too, um, actually I'm gonna throw in another one, but if this combination is too much of an investment for you, this Sisley La Prairie, then you might wanna try this. It's the Merit Complexion Stick. And I have mine in the shade, actually I have two of these, but I have mine in the shade Suede, which is a great color correcting shade because it does have a peach tone in it. So I'll go under my eye with this and I'll use the Merit brush to sweep that in. This one right here. And then I'll use the Camouflage Stilo by Chantecaille, just where I would use the La Prairie. 
same spot because it's a little bit lighter as well. In fact, the shades are a little bit similar. And this one though has more of a reflective quality about it, not again because of anything sparkly in there, but because it just has like a dewier, dewier appearance to it. So if you like that, that's the main difference in terms of the way they look. The Merit with the Chantecaille is a nice combination under the eye if you wanted to try that and you have these. And then, is this five? One, two, three, four, no, this is six. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this in because I use this as a primer though. So I'm not gonna count it as a concealer, but it does conceal. It just evens out the skin tone on my eyelid. It's a bit of a drier consistency than this. This one's more fluid. This is by Chantecaille as well. So if you're wondering the difference. So I will put this on my eyelids as a primer. Again, just to even everything out because my eyelids have a little bit of, um, they're like a little bit red-ish compared to the rest of my skin. I love concealers. They are very necessary. In fact, if I could choose between foundation and concealer, I love foundation, but I need concealer. <laughs> so foundation for me is like a really nice extra step. So yeah, so if I had to choose one, concealer would be it because it is such a hardworking kind of product for me. And I love all of those for different purposes. And I did have the question, do you really use all of those concealers? I do just because I have different needs on different parts of my face. The shades on my face are different as well. So that's another reason I use different concealers. Now for lips. I love a good lip and there are certain ones that I pull for often. And I have one on now. Actually, I have two on now. So starting with this one, I have the Hermes on. It's in 21. I'll show this to you with just the lipstick on so you can see uh, because it's a really pretty color. It's between like a pink and a peach for me. Just a stunning shade. It goes really well with the Hermes blushes that I have as well. I love the formula. Really beautiful. I do have that on with the Merit Lip Oil and the one that I have on now is Pink Beat. But if I were going to choose, I think this one wakes up my skin a little bit more, Marrakesh. So I'll show you that one by itself as well, but they do look similar. But Marrakesh just is a really nice compliment to my skin tone, again, because of that warmth. It has a beautiful formula. It's that um, lip oil kind of formula, but it's different than a lot of the lip oils I've tried because there's quite a bit of pigment here. Then I've got one that I recently discovered, but I every time I wear this, I get questions about it too. It's the Chantecaille Lip Veil in Rock Rose, which I think is so pretty. It's a bit cooler, a bit more berry, but really, really pretty every time I wear it. It just works so well with my skin tone. And I love the Lip Veil formula. Lip Veils, again, have more opacity and are not as glossy as something like the Lip Chics. And then I have a beautiful red shade here. It is the House of Siage. They make the most beautiful red lipsticks and their lipstick formula in general is one of my all-time favorites. This is in the shade Playful Red and I think they did such an excellent job with this. There is a bit of a blue tone in here but nothing that's too blue because sometimes that'll look pink on me but you can definitely see that there is that hue in there but one of my new favorite reds from them. And I noticed the texture looks much more smooth with this particular formula. And then finally, I did have to pick a Chanel Le Rouge Duo because these are so great. I was going to pick Endless Pink, but it's not available. I was trying to find my second favorite shade and I really like this. It's such a vibrant shade, really beautiful on. I think, again, this is one that will work for many people. There is a bit of a cool tone in here, but not too much. So. I love the impact that it has without being overwhelming. And again, this formula, if you've not tried it and you don't like liquid lipsticks, you're gonna like this one because I don't like liquid lipsticks in general. I avoid them. They are not comfortable for me, but this one is really comfortable. It has this side and then it has a gloss on the other side that you top it off with and it just stays all day and looks beautiful. So if you're looking for a lipstick that's going to stay all day, this one, is one you're gonna to wanna to look at. But that is it for my top five lipsticks and concealers. Let me know what yours are. Again, I have the rest of the year to try some new things, but I'd love to know what they are. So please leave them in the comment section below. That's it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.